This is going to be a review on muscle blocks. I'm going to take these out of the package in a minute, but uh, let me show you the label over here so you can see they're made for an Olympic bar to go on the two inch bar, not a one inch, the two inch hole. If you look at my videos, you can see that I did a review on this thing. I bought these on uh, online and they're really nice and they're not really nice. They're really nice because they are definitely secure. These things are not coming off at all and that's the problem that sometimes I want to put weights on and off. I want to take weights on and off of this thing. I want to put them on and this needs, if you're an older person, if you are an elderly person or if you have small hands or if you don't have a lot of strength in your hand, you're going to have a heck of a time. You can see this requires a massive amount of grip strength. Okay, so I'm just going to do this with my left hand, which is my weaker hand, and I can't even move this thing. With my right hand, you really should, unless you've got really good grip strength, you should ow, use two hands because you could completely screw up your, your carpal tunnel muscles. and You just don't want to do it. So it's very difficult is, like I said, especially for putting weights on and off to have to take this thing and squeeze it. So I bought this uh, muscle block. Blocks. I'm going to take it out of the package now. Now I've got some cap holders like this, but it doesn't seem like you can buy those online. This these things are not cheap, believe me. They're they're just not cheap. But the advantage is, oh, these are this is nice. It's got a, like a rubber coating on, over here. Um, that's rubber. This feels like plastic. This is they're not cheap because they're not junk. And you really need something that's going to hold your weights on so that you don't fall off and hurt yourself. Looks like we have what a safety catch here. Okay, that's nice. Wow, that's definitely nice. So, um, I don't even have my tripod here. I should have brought the tripod up here. Ow! To do the video. No, that didn't hurt me. It's, this is... Um, okay, so we have some rotating here. And the inner part is like a, a, a hard rubber. And this is hard plastic. And then we have this little knobby piece, and it looks like it can squeeze down to different sizes, maybe. Nope, just to one size. Ow. All right, so I'm using my weak hand to do this. That's why I'm having a hard time. I used my right thumb, and I had no problem popping this open, but... My left thumb, I just don't have as much gripping strength. Hey, if you like my videos, please, thumbs up, subscribe, do a like. Uh, channel page, click on the support button if you want to leave me a donation, that would be awesome. So, um, the main thing is to test this thing out. I can tell you right now, as long as this works, I'm a happy camper. Oh, I had an accent in there, a happy? It's like a Michigan accent, or happy, I'm a happy camper. I don't know where that came from. So, uh, let's put it on the two-inch bar here. It slides on absolutely perfectly. Compared to this guy, I'm not going to be able to do it. I got my left hand. Uh, no, nah, I can't do it. So right away, I'm happy that it goes on easily. Let me keep it in that direction. I would normally have it in the other direction, but this way you'll be able to see it latch. Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. Okay, so let's look inside here and see what happens. As you close it, as you close as you close the thing you can see this rubber these this rubber piece starts to clamp down see it coming out on the left it clamps down and grips onto your bar and then when you squeeze it it locks the thing in with a tight fit of the two pieces of rubber so let's go back up over here and as I press this thing it's already tight. It's already, I can't slide it. It's already tight. I'm going to have to do this with uh, 
my strong hand. There's no way I'll be able to do this. Um, yeah, I really needed the tripod here. Let's see. Um, hold on. Hold on. It's kind of dark in here, but the good thing is that I'm able to use the, uh, the, the old clamp to support the camera. Okay, so let's try this out. This is tight. This is a tight fit. I'm using, I need both hands, but at least I'm not using my grip strength. That is nice. That is really nice. I'm happy with it. This is not going anywhere. This is definitely not coming off. And let's try removing it now. I believe I would press backward on this thing, so I don't want it to slam against my nail. And I don't have the... So this is, this is definitely a two a two-hand uh, process, just like the other one was. Ah, not too bad. Not, not bad at all. My first time using this, so clamping it down, it works. And lifting it up, it works. Let's go to the other side. There's a little more lighting there. Okay. Now, I'm going to have to use two hands to squeeze this thing off. And you can see already, this is why I don't like these. They're great. I did a review on them, but... They are good if you are going to put the weight on and leave it on, then these are good. But if you're going to take your weight and put it on and off, no, not, not good because they hurt. Um, this just went on in two seconds. Let's do this in a different direction. Press it up. Snap. Beautiful. Beautiful. Definitely nice. And you press that thing. So it's a two-handed thing. Uh, maybe if you're a big macho guy and you want to use one hand to show how cool you are, you can do that. But this has a nice clamp to it, and it's secure. It's not going anywhere. Definitely, it's not going anywhere. It's not as tight as I want. Let's squeeze this up. So the problem with this is I'm using weights that are different size, different style. Let me clamp this on a little tighter. There we go. It's secure. This is a good product. Um, all I can say is with weights, you're not, you're not going to buy stuff like this more than once, hopefully. And don't buy junk. Buy something quality. You're dealing with your muscles, your safety. You don't want these weights to fall off. You don't want them to hurt you. You don't want it to slip. This guy is going absolutely nowhere. And I don't even remember what I paid for this online, but worth every penny. I don't have to deal with this anymore. I'll keep these around, but these are just a nightmare for me. And that's my review. Uh, make sure you watch all my other videos. I've got some awesome stuff on here and some not some awesome stuff, but watch them anyway. And, wow, I'm looking over here. This is incredible. Look down. I think you can see it. Can you see it over here? Metal shavings coming off because I was using this guy. That's not going to be happening anymore. So right there, I'm happy that I bought this. And I'm going to post this now. See ya. One more thing that I just noticed that I want to tell you about. The thing I couldn't stand about these is when I would go to put the weight bar down, almost every time one of these would hit because of the weight, it would go down like this, and I would have to lift the weight up and spin it so that... Uh, it would go like this instead of hitting on the ground like this. I don't have that problem with this. So this was a huge safety hazard. It definitely was a safety hazard. It was very dangerous having to take the weight bar and spin one side and then spin the other. You don't have to deal with that with this thing. So if you're going to do it on a weight bench, this is great. Especially if you're not going to change the weights that often. I just did some lifting. That's why I'm out of breath. And if you're not going to, if you're going to, if you're going to change and you're going to have this on the floor, definitely buy these. I would just buy these anyway. These are okay. These are awesome.